HR onboarding process. What's the business? Here, the HR executive will be provided with the employee appointment letter, which is a PDF file, and payroll details, which is a doc file. All these are something that he will need to proceed further. On the left side, you can see there is a PDF file, which is an appointment letter, and a doc file, which is something related to payroll. Moving forward, as a second step, using some of the details provided in the documents received, he will generate employee ID and email ID by using a HR portal. The left side is the HR portal that you can see where he will be inputting those particular details and he will try to submit it. Once that is done, as a final step, he will add all these details of the employee to an Excel master sheet. So this is how the master sheet will look like. Let's have a quick demo on that. Here is the code that I have for that. If I just go to the project folder, here's how it looks like. Here are the inputs that we have. We have four employees joining in. Let's look at this particular employee details. Here is the appointment letter. Here is the payroll details. Similarly, we have the same thing for all these four. Every folder has got two files in it. These are the details of these four employees. Once we take this and then extract the details from them, we'll be moving all those folders into success files folder. Once that is done, here is the master sheet that we have. It will be available in the input folder. Here we will try to enter that those particular details. With that basic understanding, let's go back to that and run that particular project. Instead of debug, I'll try to run the file. This is how it is trying to open those particular word files and trying to read it. Here is the portal that we have. As you can see, it is trying to enter some data into those fields. It has fetched few details back. It is trying to do the same for the second employee right now. Now it's doing it for the third employee. Don't worry about the backend process that is happening right now here. We'll anyway explore that in the further lectures. Now it's the fourth one and the final one. that's done. So let's go back to this folder and into the data, into the input and let's open this particular file. As we can see it was empty earlier but now it has got few details in it. So whatever values we have got from those particular documents that were provided to us, we have tried to enter those details into this particular master sheet. And this employee ID and the email ID we have. The bot has actually fetched from the portal and it has entered those details into this particular master sheet. That was about the process.